I'll just oh crap. Which cork is which? Oh, son of a I'm never gonna be able to recover from this. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian, and yes, if you're asking, is that a brand new charcoal willet hat that you are rocking today? Yep, you better believe that it is. We are here with a new video where we are checking out the brand new release, Batch 34 from Barrel Craft Spirits. Much like Barrel 33 that came before it, this is distilled in Kentucky, Indiana, and Tennessee. It has a six-year-old age statement, but we know that it has barrels that go up to 15 years old with I think a majority of them being eight years old. 114.62 proof. Start with an eight-year high corn bourbon and then added high rye barrels and then mixing it with uh, 10, 15-year-old stuff too to get what we have here. Now, go check out my video of barrel 33. Lots of people really, really big fans of this one. I was fine on it. Um, I thought it was kind of, it had some nice flavors to it, but maybe kind of a, a interesting marriage between uh, kind of youthfulness and um, uh, not. So uh, it was interesting. Now, again, like I mentioned in my Batch 33 video, if you are one of those people who say, I can't trust anyone who gets whiskey given to them for free, they're just doing it exchange for something then go ahead, turn off this video. I got plenty of other things for you all to watch. Barrel, thank you so much though for sending me this bottle. No obligation to make a video, no obligation to put any content out there. I mean, you probably assume people are going to do that anyway, but again, no strings attached. They have not seen this video prior to me doing this, but thanks for allowing me to try this product anyway. With that out of the way, let's go on and let's get right on into batch 34. Mm pleasant there. Oh, I spilled it. Crap. Before we dive into 34, jump down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't helped me grow the channel here in 2023. My microphone smell like barrel. Mmm. That is a very interesting nose. Maybe just my fatness is showing through, but it's easy to relate to things in food. And so... This kind of reminds me of Girl Scout cookies, both the trefoils. Do people call them those anymore? Do they have a different name? Let me message down below. Let me know what they're actually called. But the shortbread ones and the Samoas, do we call them that anymore either? I don't even know what we call them anymore. The shortbread ones and the ones that are caramel and chocolate and toasted coconut. That's in here for sure. Vanilla pudding pop. Caramel. I already mentioned that, the caramel toasted coconut milk chocolate, but then it's got, honestly, and I've tried opening this, pouring some out, letting it sit. It's got a heat in there. Oh, well, could just be because my house always smells like coffee. And does anyone else get like some freshly brewed espresso or something? If you tried this, leave me a message down below. Freshly brewed espresso, anyone? Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's dive into the palate on this guy. Ooh. The palate is buttery and peachy to start. We're no stranger to this, not from other pours I've talked about, nor Batch 33. I talked about that kind of peachiness being there as well. And man, that persistent spice that I mentioned on the nose is, is definitely a through line here on the palate too. I wanna say there's some charred oak buried there with that spice a little bit too. Kind of a resounding kind of deeper grape Note there, it's not overly sugary, it's not candied, it's definitely like a Concord grape or something like that. It's doused with uh, orange oil, like a like like a over expressed rim of an old fashioned, some cinnamon, just tingling around there. Soda like sweetness as well as it as it finishes. It's a, it's a balanced pour, and I and I'm saying it meaning. Uh, in in this in this regard, it has some depth to prevent it from feeling too youthful. Like uh, it doesn't taste as young as it's age dated compared to maybe other people who put out six year age dated products, five year age dated products, seven year age dated products. They're all the characteristics that you should find in a younger whiskey, 
but generally in a younger whiskey, those notes kind of fail you. They left, they leave you a little uh, two-dimensional. They don't have the depth. They don't have uh, something to fill it out. It just kind of left kind of dry and maybe missing something, maybe uh, lacking in dimension, maybe just kind of hot. And maybe it's the older barrels in here. I don't know, because I don't do blending for whiskey, but it helps bring some balance while remaining in the flavor pocket of what a consumer might look for in a six-year, five-year kind of bourbon. So someone who likes the kind of snappier flavors that might come from a five to seven-year-old whiskey, but uh, it, it kind of getting into a whiskey that's teetering into those honeys, the caramels, that sweetness is coming out. You're not really getting oak influence at all. This uh, Batch 34 kind of does that, and in a lot of ways better than the Batch 33 does. Quickly comparing it here to Batch 33. Batch 33 is richer, kind of kind of citrus and brown sugar, where the nose on 34 is maybe a bit softer. It's slightly floral, not quite Four Roses territory, but a little bit floral, more so with a little bit of water to it. It's a little bit more elegant, maybe a little bit more balanced in how it presents itself. But I will say, if you're not usually one who adds a little bit of water to it, you definitely might want to do it with this batch 34 if you were to try it, because again, it makes it a little bit more delicate. It makes it a little bit more easier to handle. It definitely tames down that spice note that I picked up. It picks up this kind of minerality to it, a little bit floral, like I mentioned already, not quite to the extent of Four Roses, but it's a very different bouquet. It's a little it's a little bit different of an experience. It shakes off the brittiness that 33 has, but it does miss some of the, the richness that 33 has. I don't really know what to say about this. Um, I could see people going either way. I could see some people saying that they prefer this batch more than 33, which is interesting because a lot of the media was saying that batch 33 is the best batch they've had in a long time. I think it really comes down to the type of flavor profile that you're looking for. You like nuanced, delicate flavors, um, maybe something to be a little bit interesting, uh, Batch 34 is gonna be for you. If you wanted to be a little bit bold, you don't necessarily mind that it's, um, you know, not necessarily the, the most put together uh, product, then I think 34 will be for you. But I wanna hear from you all. Let me know what you all think. If you've tried Batch 33, if you've tried Batch 34, let me know what your all's thoughts have been on them down in the comments below. I'd love to continue to interact with you all on this. Thanks so much for tuning in to another video, guys. Let me know if there's other things you want to hear me talk about in upcoming videos on the channel. And until next time, we'll see you all later.